This section shows you how to control the audio playback when using AudioWeaver in native mode, that is when you're running processing on the PC. So let's start with a typical AudioWeaver system. And the first decision you have to make is under layout properties. So layout properties will show, are you using a file input or line input when you're processing on the PC? By default, it's file input and it uses this Bach piano piece. And here you can just browse to a different MP3 file or WAV file that you want to use. Uh, AudioWeaver supports multi-channel WAV files, so you can have as many input channels as you want. Let's also now switch to line input. So with, when it's using line input, it's using your sound card. And so to configure this, you have to switch to the server window. Under file preferences, you'll see a list of all your input sound cards and all your output sound cards. So I can say, let's go from this microphone input and then I want to play back these other, on these other output speakers. And now when I build and run, it'll use the microphone input and play it out the other sound card there. It can also be a little confusing how AudioWeaver determines what sample rate to use. So if you're in native mode and you're using the line input, then it's gonna set your sound card to the sample rate of the system input pin. If you're using a file input, then it's gonna play the audio at the sample rate of the input file. And now that may or may not match the sample rate of your system. And so it's possible to get a mismatch and then you'll get a warning message from designer when it's about to start audio playback. And then finally on the embedded target, the embedded target has its own sample rate and it's possible to have a mismatch between the sample rate in your block diagram and the sample rate of the embedded target, and then you'll get a warning. When you're in native mode, the server shows you the actual sample rate that's being used. So you can verify by looking at the server.